Hey folks, my name is Jess from the ELIS office, and I'm here today to provide an introduction to eSpace. So we are all familiar with Moodle, which is the university's LMS system, and there is a Moodle course page automatically created for every course listed in Banner. eSpace, on the other hand, is a Moodle server reserved for different types of things not connected to Banner. So in the past, this has been used for things like committee work or special research projects or other things that people in certain offices or departments might be collaborating on. So it functions just like Moodle with some slight aesthetic differences, um, but we call it eSpace. So your first question might be how we get to eSpace. There are multiple ways to do it. If you are on our eList webpage, you can access eSpace through our supported software tools. Uh, however, if you are, for example, logged into Moodle, um, under our faculty tab, we also have a link to eSpace. Um, and finally, if you just put into any browser, eSpace.oakland.edu, this will also take you to eSpace. You will log in with your same Moodle credentials, your NetID information, and this will take you to the eSpace dashboard. So let's talk a little bit about how you might best organize this dashboard to best suit your purposes. Um, this is kind of the default view, and obviously I am enrolled in many different uh, eSpace pages. Um, so right now, I am viewing all of these spaces I am a participant in um, based on course name. So this is loosely in alphabetical order, but I often find I would prefer to view my dashboard based on the spaces I last accessed. So now these are the projects or, you know, collaborations I'm probably working on recently. And I'd like to have them at the top of my screen instead of having all my spaces in alphabetical order. But you can decide what's best for you. This layout is also what we call a card layout. But if this isn't my preference, if I feel like these cards are too big and I'd like things to be a little more condensed, I could change this to a list layout or I could change it to a summary layout just based on what my, again, preferences would be for viewing this dashboard. I do tend to like the card layout uh, with the information and the full banner image for each space. I have one more option for filtering this dashboard, uh, which by default, I will have every single eSpace I'm enrolled in visible to me on the dashboard. Um, however, I may want to filter this um, down a little bit, most likely based on spaces I have starred. So you may notice next to a couple of these titles, I have you know starred the eSpace and then I could filter by those that I've starred. It's essentially letting me highlight in some type of way. So um, I have these three little dots I can click in order to star this course. And once I do that, the star appears. And then from the drop down menu, I could filter this dashboard only to view the spaces that I have starred. Next, let's talk about our main menu options. So, very similar to Moodle, we also have these menus uh, called My Courses. This will organize your eSpaces depending on how they've been coded. Um, and so, if you are enrolled in various differently coded eSpaces. You'll see those different options categorized as such from this My Courses menu. The OU menu drops down into various resources connected to campus, some of the most common ones we use, like MySail, Webmail, etc. From the group editors drop down, this starts to let you get into some eSpace management. So in Moodle, we call you know, the manager of a Moodle page the teacher. That's the teacher role. And in eSpace, this is called the group editor. 
So if I'm a group editor, uh, I may want to request a news e-space based on a new collaboration in my office or across offices. Um, and then I can also get connected to the e-list workshop schedule and the e-list help library. And these uh, resources are available in rule two. They're extremely useful. And so we wanted to make sure that's at your fingertips within eSpace as well. Finally, another button you should recognize from Moodle is our Get Help button. Uh, by clicking this, you get connected to our eList support portal uh, where you can uh, call us, uh, fill out a written ticket, or do some live chat with our Moodle technicians if you are having any issues, uh, the same way our Moodle technicians help you with anywhere you may be stuck in Moodle, the same is true of eSpace. We offer full support for eSpace as well. So that covers your main menu options. Um, I should also say you have one last way to navigate spaces on your dashboard. They're going to be listed on this left menu here. And if you don't see this menu or you would prefer to put it away, you can click the hamburger menu, as we call it, up here in the top left-hand corner. So I can click it to make it appear, and I can click it again to make it disappear and go away. So let's jump into a particular eSpace to talk a little bit more about the difference between being a group editor and being a participant. So I'm gonna to jump to my participants menu and that is in uh, the same location as you'd be used to finding it in Moodle. And so this is an eSpace where I've got 622 participants. And so a participant you should think of as like the student role is in Moodle. Um, and as I said earlier, being a group editor is like being the teacher role in Moodle. So as a group editor, I have full um, editing privileges and, you know, management, access to activities, um, that type of thing. Uh, whereas if I am a participant, let me switch my role to participant, um, this is essentially like having the student view. So for example, some of these activities have activity completion. And as a participant, I can see that I have you know, viewed or completed all of these resources. Let's say I want to add a participant to this eSpace. Well, I've come to the participants tab and now I'm going to click enroll users. So first I'm going to search for the participant based on their net ID. Let's say I'm going to add Nick Bonger's account, and then I just need to make sure I'm giving him the correct role. If I want uh, him to have the same type of um, editing access because he's gonna help me manage this space, I'm gonna list him as group editor. And if I just want him to be a participant, again, this is the equivalent to the student role in Moodle, I'm going to list him under participants. I'm going to make him a group editor, and then I'm going to click the enroll users button. And then I get a little message that says one uh, enrolled user has been added to this space. If I ever want to try and just figure out, you know, how many group editors do I have in this space, I can search for people based on role. So I'm going to say role. And then I'm going to select group editor. And then I can apply the filter. And now I can see everyone who's listed just as a group editor in this space. There are also some self enrollment features to eSpace. And if you are interested in learning more about that, then uh, send us an email or submit a ticket with us. We can help you get that set up. You can see now that I'm in an eSpace, this left-hand menu now becomes specific to the eSpace page itself. Um, so this is an easy way for me to navigate through particular topics, or in this case, I've named them modules. Again, if you don't see this menu, we click the hamburger icon to pop this menu in and out.
And finally, for this demonstration, if you are a group editor, meaning you are uh, actively managing this eSpace and I want to start editing the page, uh, I have the same editing buttons that I do in Moodle. So I have this blue turn editing on button. And when I do that, I can start to see um, all these options for editing or adding activities and resources. And basically all the same types of things available to instructors in Moodle is available to group editors in eSpace. Or finally, no matter where I am on the page, I can always click the pencil icon next to the magnifying glass search icon. And this allows me to turn editing on no matter where I am scrolling down the eSpace page, as well as turn it off. So those are some of the basics about what eSpace is, uh, how to log in, how to navigate the dashboard and the different roles that we have in eSpace, as well as how to start editing in eSpace once you have one up and running. If you have any further questions, please send them to ELIS. You can uh, give us a call, write a ticket, um, or do some live chat with us and we'll be happy to help you out.